Today I'm going to do a short video teaching on destroying the works of the devil and at the end of the video Will and I are going to pray in tongues so that you can get set free and be healed of all of your diseases. So as you listen to this teaching I want you to listen in faith and with the expectation that, that at the end of the video you will get set free and you will be healed. In 1 John 3 8 it says this for this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil so how did Yeshua destroy the works of the devil well number one Yeshua was the sinless sacrifice who died on the cross for the sins of all humanity we see this in John 1 29 when John the Baptist says this Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Number two, Yeshua descended into the lower parts of the earth and retrieved the keys of Hades and death. Yeshua took back dominion of the earth that Adam and Eve forfeited to Satan when they had sinned. We see this in Ephesians 4, 9, and 10 when it says this, Now this he ascended. What does it mean? but that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth. He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. And in Revelation 1.18, it says this, Yeshua says, I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and death. Number three, Yeshua destroyed the works of the devil when he took his blood to the heavenly tabernacle and sprinkled his blood on the altar for the remission of sins. Without a blood sacrifice, scripture says there is no remission for sins. This was Yahweh's law, not man's law. We see this in Hebrews 11, uh, excuse me, Hebrews 9 uh, verses 11 and 12 and in 22 when it says this, But Christ came as high priest of the good things to come, with the greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood he entered the most holy place once and for all, having obtained eternal redemption. And according to the law, almost all things are purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood there is no remission. You see, there had to be a blood sacrifice from a perfect sinless man in order for our sins to be removed. Number four, Yeshua destroyed the works of the devil, and then he gave born-again Christians the authority to enforce his victory over Satan. We see this in Luke 10, 19, when Yeshua said this, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and on scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So it is with this authority that I'm doing this video. I'm going to trample on the serpent and the scorpion um, that has and over all the power of the enemy that has that he has placed over your life. At the end of this video, you will be set free from the power of the enemy in your life. So I want you to just believe and receive when Will and I pray at the end of the video. So I want to share with you a couple of stories that attest to the power of tongues to set the captives free. Now, the, this is a, this first uh, story is a true story. Will and I uh, ministered to a, a mother of two young sons, and they were from Africa. And both of the sons had been diagnosed with autism. And so we were ministering to the older son, who was seven years old at the time. And during the time of ministering, we had determined that there was also um, a curse that had been placed upon this young boy from a witch doctor um, from, from Africa, which is where they were from. And so after um, Will had cast out this uh, spirit, and he sent it back to the witch doctor in Africa, we then began to extensively pray in tongues over this little boy to get set free. 
And so um, a, a long time later, the mom called me and let me know exactly what had happened. She said the next day when her son went to school and he, had, he was attending a, a special school for children with autism, she said that um, he began to mimic or or in her words, uh, began to mimic uh, the tongues that he had heard us uh, praying in. And so he was praying in tongues at school and the, and the teachers were just looking at him. And after he got done praying in tongues, he was able to speak in perfect English, which he was never able to speak um, before because of the autism. And the teachers were amazed because they, they, they called the mom and said, listen, your, your son no longer has autism. He is not exhibiting signs of autism. And uh, they said, what happened to him? And she explained that it was be, uh, that Well and I had prayed over him in tongues. And that is how her son got set free from the autism. The second story that I want to share with you is a dream that a, a lady just sent to me most recently and she said she felt very impressed to send this dream to me. Um, she was impressed by Holy Spirit. And so in this dream, uh, she was getting ready to take a shower and out of the corner of the, uh, of, of the ceiling, a snake dropped down into the shower, um, but it was a dead snake and they took the snake out. And so then she proceeded then uh, to uh, take her shower, but before she began, a second snake came out of that same corner, but this time the snake was alive. And so they all ran out of the house in the dream because they were fearful of the snake um, because they knew it was very poisonous and it could kill them. Um, when they were outside, one of the young men said, no, we, we can't back down from this snake. I'm going to go in and I'm going to kill the snake. And so he went into the house to kill the snake. So in the meantime, they came back into the house and they realized that the snake had eaten this man, but they could hear him praying in tongues through the, through the snake. And all of a sudden, the snake just burst apart and the man then was set free. And she said in the, uh, in, the, in the email that she sent me, she said, literally, she said, the snake could not contain this man who was praying in tongues. And so we see that the power of tongues is what defeated this snake. And the snake always represents Satan. So it was the power of his tongues that defeated and destroyed this, this snake. And the next day she prayed and asked Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit gave her this scripture in Mark 9, 28 and 29 it says this when Yeshua had come into the house his disciples asked him privately why could we not cast this spirit out and Yeshua said to them this kind came out by nothing but prayer and fasting so today the spirit behind your disease will come out when Will and I pray in tongues because we both have been fasting and and as we pray it will be the prayer of Holy Spirit that will set you free it will be the prayer of Holy Spirit that will uh, cause these demonic spirits that are behind every disease and every sickness to come out of you you see Yeshua has already destroyed the works of the devil and Will and I are going to enforce the victory of Yeshua. So if you have been diagnosed with autism, with cancer, with MS, with arthritis, with fibromyalgia, with diabetes, with Crohn's disease, with back pain, with heart disease, with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, celiac disease, chronic uh, fatigue syndrome, herpes, or any other sexually transmitted disease, lupus, Lyme disease, mental disease, scoliosis, colitis, Asperger's, Parkinson's, Parkinson's, hepatitis, acne, bursitis, HIV or A AIDS, addictions, Addison disease, allergies, anxiety, depression, uh, sleep apnea, or any other disease that I haven't mentioned, any disease, it doesn't matter what disease you've been diagnosed with, today is your day to get set free. Today is your day for your body to be healed of all the symptoms of the, of the diagnosis. Today is the day where uh, the power of time is going to set you free. 
So as I pray right now, I'm going to ask Holy Spirit to give both Will and I the perfect prayer to set you free. And as we pray in tongues, what I want you to do is I want you to stand in faith, knowing that this day you are getting set free and this day you are going to be healed. So Holy Spirit, I pray right now and I ask you right now to pray through Will and I for that that perfect prayer to set the captives free. We are enforcing the victory of Yeshua. We have been given the authority uh, to enforce his, his victory so that the captives can be set free. So Holy Spirit, pray through us right now that perfect prayer for those watching right now. Ina tori ba ore mo so koro ba fare mo o kore da fasi koto si dare no so o rana haru baroro re na so kore na re no si kore ba ti kore ba ta iki dare no so dare na so kore ba dare na so kodi de 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 baro i kore na tu re ma sa kore da tore da so tore da bara ma sa i kare do kore ba nere ba bare bo bara ba si kore ba ya re ba si kore ma sa i kare no so de 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 re ma so kore da da re ba sa o re ma sa kore ba sa to re be ta fa si kore ba si kore ma ta ra mo so bo ro bo ta Mari bata dori masa kore basa kare do tri basa tari titi kiri da iro ma hore ba ore basa ore masa kore bata re no re mata re no te re basa i kore mata kare masi kore bata re na si kore bara na so ore bara na si kore bara re masa kore bata re da si ore bata re na si kore da da re no so kore bata da re na sa i kare no si kore bata sa ore masa ka ore masa kare da re na si kore bata di di kiri ba si kore ba so are na so kore da re na so kore ba i na masa kore bata re na si dore masa vori masa ore masa kore bata re masa kore bata ka i kare do tori be sa ka ore masa kore ba re na so kore do tori be si kare da i kare bo so kore da re masa kore bata i tare masa kare be si kare ba si ka ore masa kare be si kore masi kore na so kota you are free in the name of yeshua